All right, today we're talking about my favorite flagellum. That's a semen tail. Naval legend, whatever, anyways. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the USS O'Bannon. It is one of 175 American Fletcher-class destroyers. Weighing in at 2,050 tons, this small ship packs a punch. Rocking five five-inch guns, 10 21-inch torpedo tubes, and two barrels of potatoes. What? You see, it all went down on April 5th, 1943, when the USS O'Bannon would come upon an enemy submarine that was traveling along the surface. Going unnoticed and approaching from behind, the USS O'Bannon would get visual confirmation that there were over a dozen enemy Enemy sailors sleeping on top of the submarine basking in the sun. It is at this point that the USS O'Bannon yells Leroy Jenkins, puts the engines at full speed, and attempts to ram the submarine. And then at the last possible second, somebody realizes that it's probably a terrible idea to ram a submarine full of explosives with your own boat. So they would veer off course at the last possible second, narrowly missing the submarine, but effectively pulling up right next to it like it was a fucking parking lot. Needless to say, this both woke up and scared the holy shit out of the enemy crew. But the ship and the submarine were so close that the guns on the O'Bannon and couldn't aim low enough to actually hit the sub. So the crew of the O'Bannon and the enemy sailors are just kind of looking at each other like, the fuck? Then the enemy sailors would remember that there is a three-inch gun on top of their submarine, and they would frantically start preparing it to fire at the USS O'Bannon. The Americans had no weapons on them, so they resorted to doing the only thing they could. They just started fucking throwing shit at them. And coincidentally, there was two barrels of potatoes there. So they just started yeeting these fucking potatoes at them like they're trying to ruin their keto diet. And to the Americans' surprise, the enemy crew starts freaking the fuck out. They're diving away from the potatoes, they're kicking them in the water, they're trying to throw them back at the O'Bannon. It's just complete fucking chaos on top of the enemy sub. Because they thought the potatoes were grenades. This gave the crew of the O'Bannon just enough time to put enough distance between them and the sub that they could aim the five-inch guns at the submarine. Needless to say, they would hit it because, well, America, we can hit the moon with a people bullet, we're definitely going to be able to hit a submarine at point-blank range. They would then double back, hit it with a couple depth charges, permanently turning that submarine into a Yamato-class coral reef. If you're not picking up what I'm putting down, I'm trying to tell you that the crew of the O'Bannon just quack-banged an entire naval vessel with a fucking potato. Oh my god, it's a spud-bang grenade. And can we address the fact that the American unhealthcare reputation is so fucking gnarly that we threw a potato at them and the enemy just went full Admiral Akbar. How's the old saying go? Give a man a fish, he'll eat for a day. But if an American gives you a potato, fucking run because it's probably a grenade. I'm gonna be completely honest, I could die right now happy if I knew that one of those crew members yelled, you should have had a V8 when they threw a potato. And I can hear my comment section already. Buh, you know the captain of the O'Bannon said that didn't actually happen. Buh. Yeah, I do know that. I also know that multiple lower enlisted people say that it did happen. Now, I've worked in retail. I've worked in restaurants, I was in the military, and now I do construction, and I can tell you one thing for sure. If all the people at the bottom of the chain of command are saying that something happened, and the one dude at the top that's responsible for all those boneheads is like, uh, no it didn't, that shit absolutely happened. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. February shirts are now live at thefatelectrician.com. So yeah, spud bang out. Oh, that's gonna be a shirt. Quack bang out.